Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will take a look at how to use the Avada Media Slider element. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Ok, let's begin. There are many ways to present images on your website with Avada. You can add images as backgrounds to your containers and columns, and there is of course the image element, the image carousel element, the gallery element, as well as the image hotspots element and the image before and after element. The media slider element is another media based element which not only allows you to make sliders of your images, but you can also use it to add videos. Let's have a look. I've imported the bed and breakfast pre-built here and I've added a full width container with a couple of columns. Let's add the media slider element into this one on the right. It opens on the children tab where you can add your slides. Images are loaded in one of two ways. On the children tab you can edit the default item that is placed with the element, and you can also click on add slide to add another item, or you can clone existing slides. Alternatively, if you have multiple images to upload, there is a bulk image upload button on the general tab. Clicking on this takes you to the media library where you can add images, or upload them if they are not yet in the library. You can select contiguous images with shift click, or individually with control command click. I'll just select a bunch of images, and insert them into my element. Ok, so let's have a look at the options with this element. The second option on the general tab is margin, and that's for the element as a whole. I don't think I need that here. Under this is alignment. Here you can choose from text flow, left, center, and right. Here my images are big enough to fill the space they are in, so these options won't do anything. In general, it's best to use images that fill the column width the element is in, though you can align the images here if they are smaller, or you have set image size dimensions further below. For example, if I set the image size dimensions width to 600 pixels, the image is reduced, and now I can set the alignment as I wish. Ok, let's undo that. Autoplay is next, and looking in the description, the default here is yes. If I click the cog icon, it takes us to the global options for slideshows. As you can see, there are other relevant slideshow options you can change the global defaults for here, such as the size of the navigation box and the size of the arrows. Ok, back to the element, and even though this is a slider, I might set autoplay here to no. The next option is smooth height. The default for this in this pre-build is set to no. This option is really useful when you have images of different heights. I'll just go to the children tab and add another slide, and then add an image to it, just this time one that's a different height than the others. If I go to that slide now, we can see the navigation dots are where the other ones were, effectively showing the limits of the slider. But if I come back to the general tab, and set the smooth height option to yes, and then navigate to that slide again, we can see the navigation dots automatically move as the images change size. Ok, I'll just remove that slide. The next option is slideshow speed. If autoplay is turned on, this controls the number of seconds between slides. Under this you can add one of three hover types if you like, zoom in, zoom out, or lift up, or you can just leave it on none. Below this there is the option for image size dimensions as we saw before, if you want to control the display size of the images. Here you can use percentages or pixels. Below this is the usual element visibility option, which allows you to show or hide the element on various screen sizes, and the CSS class and CSS ID options for further customization with custom CSS. One more feature is found in the child items. If I just edit one of these, we can see the option called full image link or external link at the bottom. As the name describes, this can link the image to either a full image link, or an external website link. Regardless of whether I set a full image link or an external link, I can also determine the link target, or to make it open in a lightbox. Let's just link it to a full size image in a lightbox. The slider image can also show videos as well as images. If we come back and add another item and edit it, you can see the top option is slide type. If we change this to video, we can then add a YouTube or Vimeo video. Here we can either click on the links to either YouTube or Vimeo to add the video via the Avada element generator, or as the description also says, we can just copy and paste a video embed code directly into the field. I'm going to click on the add YouTube video link, and a dialog pops up. I'll paste my video ID in there, 
and as you can see in the description, that's the last bit of the URL, and then I'll set my other options. The alignment option isn't so important here as I want my video to fill the column, so I need the dimensions to be big enough so it fills this column. I think about 1250 pixels will be right. I just need to enter the width here without the pixels, and I don't need to enter the height, as this is a 16 to 9 video, and that's the assumed aspect ratio with videos. I'll leave autoplay on no, and click insert. So as you can now see, this adds a shortcode into the slider item. Okay, let's save this, and have a look on the front end. I'll just scroll down to it, and here it is. I'll just scroll through these with the navigation arrows. When we get to the one I added a full size image to, we can click on it, and see that it opens in a light box. The next slide is the last one, and here we can see the video slide, ready to play. Ok, so the media slider element is one to remember, for when you want to display a number of images in a compact area, or just as an alternative to the gallery or image element. I think it's versatile and effective. Ok, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.